And that's a bad start. Four or five dead chickens there. Probably been poisoned. It's a shame. I am uh, gonna head down here. I remember I haven't been here in decades. At least 15, 16 years. And this is probably one of the only untouched areas in this on this highway. And I remember you could drive down to it, but so it's the people buy up the lands there, which I, I understand in a way because people litter the area so that to keep people out, I, I don't blame them. So I'm just gonna do a quick walk down here. See if it looks the same as, uh, as you can see, litter, litter, litter. So I'm just gonna do a quick walk down here and uh, see how it's looking. Natural rocks, karst limestone, attached trees, birch trees, lots of birch trees, sea grape, cockspur, attached. Hmm. It looks like there used to be a fence here. Wow, this is really good growing up because you could walk here without I have to stoop down because the, which is good. That probably keeps people out from here. You see you can see people litter. That's probably that could have been washed up though in that storm. You never know. Yeah, that's that's exactly why they have to put those huge boulders there to keep people out. I mean still still people will litter but it's supposed to keep them from dumping. So just backing up and dumping. Oh, that's a nice piece of wood there. I should take that. <laughs> okay. Let's see what surprise is in for me because I haven't been here in decades. You see it's surprisingly calm today too. Oh, it still looks nice. That little cove there, I remember I used to come fishing. That's where that house is up there. Where the way up there. I used to come fishing here. I don't want to walk too much, I'm in my good shoes, but uh, these, these are the kind of beaches I like, where the beach is behind the rocks. It extends way up there. It's a good fishing area because the reef, the reef comes in there. So of course you get fish coming in to feed. I used to stand here and fishing me and my buddy, my buddy from England. I haven't seen him in ages either. I think that was the last time I came here was with him and I haven't seen him in over 15 years. So there you go. It's so natural here. So I'm just trying to get it before it gets developed because I see houses and stuff and land being cleared, so plots being cleared. So one day I'll try to come and have on my um, my hiking shoes and try to get that little cove there, that little uh, hamlet cove, whatever you want to call it. The, the beach starts from there and goes up. That's Barefoot Beach. That's where I filmed a couple uh, months ago. There, that's real beach, not like this. You can see a lot of stuff washes up from the uh, from storms, so you get all that litter and stuff. Maybe I could come by here one day and do a, a clean up. That's what I usually do is, well not at this one, the regular beach that I used to go to. And just burn it in the night and use it as a, a campfire. Which is probably not too healthy, but uh, there you go. Alright, I'm gonna walk back. I don't see great trees are lovely. Even lovely when they get burnt. Get that little burnt uh, sensation from the uh, from the salt spray. I don't have space to take that, but that's a nice bit, bit of uh, two by two. That's like the one I bought a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's a nice piece of coral rock. 
and this, this is from thousands and mil probably millions uh, of millennia you know, of things washing up. See, another one there again. Coral, washed up coral. Mm, horrible littering that goes on. I should come here one day. I haven't been here in, like I said, in decades, but well, at least at least a decade and a half. So hopefully these little spots remain so people can come fishing, camping, what have you. Because most of the camping spots are being are being uh, yeah, you, see, you could drive right down here at one time. We might used to drive right up. We could even turn around here somewhere. That's been decades. Birch trees are now going to start coming back now after winter is gone. So you can see the, the fruit, well, the golden fruits, I suppose. So they start to bloom again. They're lovely when they're in the summer. Okay, and some nice natural touch trees here. Just looking for some other plants here. They basically only got birch, birch, touch, sea grape, and then mangrove these are mangrove i think these are white man white mangrove i think i forgot the classification all right there you go back to i hear i hear a chicken somewhere there yep there you go just to keep people out Those poor chicks, see? That's probably what happened. Those chicks are abandoned now because the adult ones, probably one of those hens. Yeah, that's, that's more than likely that what happened. Now they're gonna have to find for themselves. Show that natural land there. So estate signs going up down there. So this is all gonna be developed in the future. So that's why I put date on these things because unfortunately this is what's gonna happen in the future. It's just gonna be all cleared and developed on. So I see the cock spray there. So prickly if you squeeze him. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go see about the cats and what have you. There's a bird flying here, see? A bit of wildlife, but it's not gonna be here for long with development going on. Plan to build a hotel right up the road there. Right up there, that's Barefoot Beach. So that's gonna soon be gone. See, there's a path going in there. Okay, let me get some of this quickly and then uh, go. Because I've never actually, I mean, the last time we came here, that path was in there. So that's a uh, good thing there's no traffic. Oh, I see over there, it's really lovely. It's not a real path, it's just more like a, just like people were dumping stuff. Yeah, shameful. People dump stuff there, you know, old bicycles, you know, old tub. Oh, uh, trying to do a positive video, but you can't, you can't help but notice these, these disgusting things. So, oh, that's a lovely, see, this is what I keep reminding people. I mean, we're lucky if we can live to 80 or 90 years old, and some of these trees are hundreds and hundreds of years old, and you just tear them up and, and destroy the land, so we can live on it for what, 50, 60 years in our adult life? Pass it on to someone else who doesn't even know how the land used to look before. But there you go. All right, I'm getting out of here. There's another one. Lots of thatched trees, birch trees, all natural. Virgin forest. This is basically virgin forest. Been here for hundreds of years. So windy. Right, I'm gonna try to get back across here before you get in. There we go. The Queen's Highway. I remember when this was built. This was nothing here. Not even a track was here. I think it used to be a footpath. Some, you know, people used to get to get into their their farms and stuff, but no roads at all. Okay. I think that's enough for here. Get out of here right now. See what I can do. My wife at my welfare duties.